I'm Roger Thurow in northern Uganda, reporting for the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting. The project that I'm working on is about the crucial importance of nutrition during the thousand day period, which is the thousand days from the time a woman becomes pregnant to the second birthday of her child. It's during this time where the brain develops most rapidly. It's a period of crucial physical and cognitive growth and vital during that time is uh, to have diets that are rich in uh, vitamins and nutrients. Malnutrition during this time of a thousand days leads to stunting. Stunting basically sentences a child to a life of underperformance and underachievement both mentally and physically. The mental implications, the cognitive implications will usually result in uh, poor performance in school, less years in school, particularly in Africa where the kids will then drop out earlier. Stunted children become stunted adults and then as adults they're, they're earning less, their ability to perform on their jobs uh, is also less and so it's less income for the individual, for the family, for the community, for the country as a whole and then the impact that it has on the, uh, the world as a whole uh, in terms of uh, lost GDP, uh, lost economic activity, lost international trade. So what I'm doing in northern Uganda and some of the women that I'm following uh, here for the project, uh, the women and their children, is uh, the women, they're also farmers. Uh, and they are growing, uh, for the last couple of years, orange flesh sweet potatoes, which are rich in vitamin A, and a high iron bean. So beans normally have some kind of iron content uh, to, to some extent, but with uh, the beans in uh, a program that's being promoted by Harvest Plus, implemented on the ground by World Vision, uh, these beans have a higher iron content. So what these foods do when they're in the diet and in, and in the foods that the, that the people here eat on a regular basis, several times a week, sometimes every day, uh, through the orange flesh sweet potatoes, they have a greater intake of vitamin A. Vitamin A is crucial for um, uh, the development of, uh, of, of eyesight. Vitamin A deficiency leads to blindness. It's one of the leading causes of blindness in, uh, in Africa and in the developing world. And children that go blinded as, as an, at an early age, there's a high percentage of them that also die earlier. Vitamin A is also crucial for uh, building strength in the, the immune system. So having proper vitamin A in the diet of a mom while she's pregnant, while she's breastfeeding, and the vitamin A that then comes through the breast milk, and then for the children themselves when they start eating uh, solid foods, the orange flesh sweet potato, uh, puts this vitamin A into their, uh, into their system in higher quantities. The iron's really important because it combats anemia. And anemia is particularly bad in Africa, particularly this region of Africa, and in Uganda uh, especially. Uh, I think it's 80% of the children under five in Uganda suffer from some kind of anemia. A lot, uh, similar percentage of uh, pregnant moms and lactating breastfeeding moms are also anemic. So by having this iron come into their, their bodies through their normal uh, diet and the food that they eat on a regular basis uh, is also a help in uh, combating anemia. And now I'm standing in a field of, uh, of orange flesh uh, sweet potatoes. Uh, again, that are grown under a project uh, which harvest, uh, of, of Harvest Plus, which brings agriculture and nutri nutrition together and uh, fortifies staple crops. Potatoes, sweet potatoes, beans, maize, corn, millet, rice. They're fortified with these higher vitamin and mineral contents and they're the staple foods again that everybody is eating. So lessens the, the reliance then on supplementation and other fortified products. Although taken together, they're all, uh, uh, they're all extremely important in somebody's uh, diet. And these orange flesh sweet potatoes are really taking off here because the moms that are growing them, uh, the testimonials that you hear in terms of uh, that they're feeling much better during their pregnancies, they have more energy, uh, and then the health of the, the, the children and the, the, uh, the activity, uh, the rapid growth and development um, of, the, of the kids uh, is really impressive when you hear the, the, the testimony and the farmers speak in their, their own words. So that's what I'm all gathering together in uh, this Thousand Days project. In addition to uh, northern Uganda, I'm following women and their children also in, uh, in India, Guatemala, and then also in the, in the United States.